Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, June 16th, 2024. I'm the Drunk Poker. It is beer time. So you're at the LCBO the other day. We're at the LCBO today. Ow. See. Hey. Oh. I pick up some uh, a beer, new beer from Schneider Weiss, which is a hop, Hopfen Weiss. And then I saw this, and I thought to myself, self, you should buy this. Why? Well, this is the number one selling beer in America. It passed Bud Light last year after all that whatever um, nonsense people thought and uh it, it has remained it's its sales are up 12 percent in the first quarter this year it is modello um there's a whole convoluted ownership stake here abm bev owns them but in the states they're owned by constellation brands i don't know about any of that you can look it up if you want to google stuff you can google stuff this is the number one selling beer in the states and that's a big country like we're canada we're a little country big country little bit of peoples right they got 10 times their population so this is 4.5 percent modello cerveza uh, Modelo Especial, Especial, uh, six packs, 18 bucks. I mean, I figure I'll drink them anyways. I'm not a fan of the clear bottles, but that's what it is. Um, I'm assuming most of the times you're not drinking this out of a glass, right? This is just a, a bottle hanging out, having a beer tree. Um, I, yeah, biggest selling beer in the States. It's weird. All right, cheers, my friends. Let's get uh, especial So I'm working outside, clean up the pool, because we've got a heat wave coming the next couple of days, and you're going to need that pool, right? So the pool's ready to go. Um, it's okay. It's beer. Like, I don't I don't know how to describe beer. It tastes like beer. I say it has a orange honey blossom scent. I mean, it smells like beer. Um, that, that's kind of how you describe it. It is very refreshing. It's very crisp and clean. Um... I don't feel like there's any real off flavors. It's a little sweeter than I would like, uh, but it's a cerveza, right? So it has a certain certain uh, job to do. Um, it's very good cold. Like I, you know, I'm assuming. You know, out of the bottle. Yeah, it, it, it's better than Corona, in my opinion. It's a little more, got a little more heft, a little bit more of a malt bill to it. Uh, so that I can see how this would be very popular, and especially when you're thinking about, you know, like Bud Light was the number one seller. Bud Light compared to this is like water, so there is that much difference. So it's a better beer, I, I guess so. Um, almost a little spice, spicy hot bite on the back, but very very subtle. It's nice. I I don't know how else to describe it. Right? These are those beers that are really weird when you talk about them because people, are like, what's it like? I'm like, well, it tastes like a beer, and then they're like, well, thanks, Doctor Professor, there. Dr. Professor, that's my my new name, Dr. Professor. Is that, that's a fancy, that's, I'm a fancy beer guy now. Okay, there you go, Modella Especial. I mean, honestly, I don't mind it. I, I don't know if I'd like it enough to buy it again. Like, it's not the number one beer in Canada, but I certainly want to turn it down if I, you know, it's like went over somewhere and somebody's like, hey, I got us a Modella Especial, and I'd be like, well, now I feel the Especial. All right, all right, Pope loves you. Take it easy, cheers. I mean, I drank it all, so, you know, five more to go, baby. Sounds like a party.